Hey guys, I wanted to open up my recorder and begin to talk about Saturn stationing direct on October 23rd at 18 degrees, which brings us back to a time period and a date um, that ultimately connects to late February of this year. But before I get into talking about Saturn retrograde coming to a close, I need to also mention the fact that Pluto stationed direct on October 8th, and this is so incredibly important within the United States due to us experiencing our Pluto return. So what does our Pluto return uh, entail? It entails the burning of the Parthenon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I mean kind of. Uh, in the United States, um, this this return is influencing our financial and fiscal and monetary sector of being. Uh, and it went um, into full swing. The beginning of our Pluto return was right around the time that Russia did invade Ukraine for their quote unquote special military mission. And ultimately, this is what we are seeing transpire in relation to our financial markets, in relation to our financial state, things like inflation, looming fears of inflation, as well as looming fears in general of our finances kind of just going to shit, our monetary system going to shit. But the thing with Pluto is that you have to die in order to be reborn. So we are in this incredibly important period in history, ultimately, in relation to our monetary system and the ability to allow ourselves to die a little bit, but in turn to rise again in the process. That rising again, the full kind of swing of that is going to reach a completion point right around Christmas time. Um, so there's also a very good chance that around that time we'll see some sort of moves potentially in relation to Russia and Ukraine. But we'll definitely feel it financially in some capacity. The changes, there will be transformation, there will be that facet of rising from the grave. The thing with Pluto is that Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, involves all things that go bump in the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's all things that are hidden, mysterious, occult, power, control, um, psychological themes are felt here, secrets, mysteries. Um, with that being said, within the next couple months especially, like a lot will come out into the open, and I know that a lot already has came out into the open, but it will further come out into the open. I'm guessing that we will probably see that a lot politically. Especially with elections um, kind of nearing ahead soon. Or soon enough, we could say. We'll probably see a lot of political stuff that does kind of make its way out, uh, seep through the cracks. <laughs> but our financial situation in general will experience great transformation by December, ultimately. With that being said, um, towards the end of October, October 30th, it's important also to note that Mars will go retrograde, and it remains retrograde in Gemini uh, until January, essentially. And we deal with Mars and Gemini energy all the way until March 2023. Um, I already kind of detailed and outlined uh, Neptune square Mars, and that being like very, very important, a very important time period for us to take note of, especially if you have mutable energy around those degrees, 23 degrees. We'll say, again, like 20 to 26, 27 degrees, most importantly. And the last one that I did want to mention before I do go on to talk about Saturn, which again is next on the list and it's coming soon, um, is Jupiter. Jupiter goes direct in November, on November 23rd, and it goes direct at 28 degrees Pisces. Given this ability from the standpoint of faith, understanding, and expansion to actualize the dream one last time uh, before it does transition back in Aries and everything is about our ability to take action. The dream is making its debut one last time. So if you do have a dream, it is time for you to follow it very, very soon. Um, because it's, it's the remainder of this ingress in Pisces, Jupiter and Pisces. It's 
also the remainder of this ability to gain enlightenment from Jupiter and Pisces. As the spiritual, the higher notion, the um, mysticism, even the esoteric one could say, all of that is a great asset. It's time to gain that last run of enlightenment. But on to Saturn, October 23rd, 18 degrees Aquarius, Saturn stationing direct. When it comes to Saturn, we see the area in which we are asked to put in the hard work and the dedication. In this case, in Aquarius, we're seeing that hard work and dedication being geared almost entirely towards humanity as a whole and the evolution of humanity the ability to embrace that humanity that's been a journey that's been uh, limiting ultimately and it's been limiting from the perspective of fate as well because with the nodes in Taurus having Saturn square the nodes it's been the people and the state of the world and society in general has been a crippling force in relation to Taurus themes which is where we're headed it has messed with the ability to gain security. It's messed with the ability to gain longevity, to embrace the monetary, fiscal, financial kind of connotations of Taurus energy. And it's not just about where we're headed, i.e. Taurus, it's also about the past, things and themes from the past, especially darker facets, notions, secrets, um, trauma even is being brought to the surface and that too is creating and cultivating this limiting force. And going direct though, on October 23rd, we're moving in the right direction. And we're moving in the right direction by going back in time because as I said, 18 degrees, this is the degree that Saturn was at back in February. So we're going back to February and things that were transpiring back in February and we're ultimately able to move forward at this point. Um, it's been a long one. <laughs> Anybody who has fixed energy, mid-degree fixed energy at that knows there are things that they have been working on, things that they have been pushing for, things that they have been dedicating themselves to, that have probably felt very stuck. And not only, again, felt very stuck, there's also that facet of fate and fate being messed with as well by that stuck feeling and by that need for extra work and extra dedication. But although Saturn can be a legitimate pain in the ass, pain in the dick, we'll say, um, the one facet, the one redeeming quality of Saturn energy as a whole is that if you put in the work, if you put in the dedication, if you keep going despite all odds, if you keep pushing that boulder up that hill, we will say, you are rewarded for it. You will be rewarded for your hard work, for your heavy lifting and that reward essentially will begin to be felt ultimately by the time that this nodal square does dissipate. Um, I mean depending on how both Saturn as well as the nodes are aspecting them natally but at the same time for people who do have fixed energy again like right around the mid-degree range you're going to experience a relief and it is coming by the end of this year. And all of that pushing and all of that dedication and all of that hard work and heavy lifting is going to begin to pay off. You're going to see rewards for your hard work and dedication because whenever you pay the piper, you do receive in return. There is a very good chance for people, again, specifically with like mid-degree fixed energy because they're being impacted the most. Eclipse season in general is going to push you. It's going to force you to put your money where your mouth is. It is going to urge you to dedicate because it's the final run of that dedication, specifically the Scorpio, um, or I'm sorry, no, the Taurus eclipse in November. That very first week in November, you might feel tense around that time, but you will begin to see those things that you have pushed so hard for begin to break as you do move forward into the year. Um, Saturn is going to remain in Aquarius until March 7th, 2023. We don't have that much longer of this pushing, of this humanitarian focus, of this need to uh, fight 
fight and work very, very hard to assist the dreams of the people in actualizing. Um, so when a planet goes retrograde, the energy is turned inward and we don't move forward during that time. The focus, the dedication, all of that, it's not that it disappears, it's still very much so felt on an inward level and an introspective level. Um, but with it going direct on October 23rd, we're going to begin to feel that transition of movement, of moving forward again and addressing those things again. Specifically, again, being things and themes that do connect back to February of this year. Um, but whatever stress and whatever strain and whatever frustrations that you may feel, specifically during Scorpio season, ultimately, you want to push through them and you want to give it your all and you want to keep fighting and keep dedicating because I am telling you, you will appreciate that you did later. It's really funny. I don't even read tarot and actually I like kind of really despise tarot. Um, I feel like it's archaic and I feel like it's outdated, but I just saw the, I think it's a ton of cups, the one with a rainbow and like the abundant energy, like being a, that was what I was like directed at when I was saying that about you being rewarded later for it. So now with uh, Saturn again going direct in October um, on the 23rd, remember that I said all these things, you will feel it, you will see things beginning to progress forward again and we don't have that much longer for this energy as a whole. Give it your all, go out there and dedicate yourself in your entirety and again you will be blessed. All right, I think that's what I got. I'm sorry if certain parts of this were choppy. I didn't want to pause in certain parts, but I, I wanted to make sure that I did say all of this out loud.